everyone, um, it's me. I'm going to do kind of a tutorial today um, for the Conad. I did one, another design last night. And I have to say, even though this one looks more simple than the cheetah print, it was uh, more difficult. It took me a while <laughs> to uh, do this. I definitely think that the French tip, um, the M19 plate, uh, takes some practice to, to master. Um, so I'm going to tell you about that and kind of, sh I'm going to show you what I did, even though it's already done. Um, I think this is one I need to practice more before I actually show you because I had to do several things to kind of touch it up and fix it. Um, but I want to show you again what I got from ocnailart.com if you haven't, um, checked out my other videos. This is the two-sided stamper. It's got the smaller end on one side. And I didn't use this, and I probably wouldn't use it unless I used a really small design like a butterfly or a flower. So if you want to do like a full nail design or the French tip, you're going to use the bigger side. I would say it's about the size of a quarter, and this will probably be about the size of a dime. And this, of course, is going to go all over your nail. Then I got the image plate holder which helps when you scrape the polish off not to get it on your table or your desk. And then the scraper. And the scraper and the two-sided nail stamper come together as a set from OC Nail Art. And this comes by itself. This is $3.99 and then the stamper and the scraper are $6.99 together. Then I got the M57 plate. Maybe fix this where it's not so shiny. It's kind of dirty. It's got the zebra print, the net print, and it's got two thinner, um, almost like a French tip design, but it's got flowers, and then one has some, like a, a small cheetah print, and then some little tiny flowers over here on this side. Then I got the M19 plate, which is a French tip design, and you have six of those. You can measure your nail and see which one you think will fit the best. Um, and then I got this one I haven't opened yet. It's M60, and it's got a kind of like an argyle print on it, and uh, another flower, full nail design, dots, some little dots, and like a cross stitch kind of pattern, and some more little flowers. So, okay, got that, and then that's all I got from them so far. And I have to say, and I've talked about this on my blog, if you go to um, missvintagevogue.blogspot.com, you can read more about it. But I didn't get the special Conad polish because I had read a lot of people don't use them. But I think I'm going to be one of the people who say I think that you should spend the extra money and invest to get them because the blacks just aren't working. They're not as opaque or thick, so you're going to have to go over it several times, or the image is not going to be as vibrant or as dark as it would be if you got the special polish. I haven't tried whites yet. Um, I'm going to try that this week, but as far as the blacks, I just I think it would be better to get the Conad polish. So if you're going to order something, just go ahead and order them too. I tried a different polish last night. It's the Sally Hansen Extreme and Blackout. Now, these look really good, but um, I had to go over them with the polish, so I'm going to explain that to you. Um, anyway, the base coat for this is China Glaze in Shocking Pink. It's very pretty, very bright, especially if it's winter where you are and it's kind of yucky like it is here. Then uh, over that is Orly. Um, it's a silver glitter in the color Tiara. And then the top coat, I this is what I use, Beauty Secrets Hardener. Um, and if you get the special Conad polish, I hear that maybe you should get the special top coat because some of them smear. Um, I think this is one of them that might make it smear, but then there's some people who just, if you tap the top coat on and not brush it completely over the nail, then it won't smear it. But I haven't tried that out yet, so I'm not going to tell you for sure either way. I would suggest laying out, even though you have, if you just have the image holder, laying out a, um, paper towel or a washcloth or something because it is going to get messy. I have some cotton swabs and some nail polish remover. And what I do is I go ahead and wet the 
cotton swabs with the nail polish remover and lay it out to the side because in between each scrape you're going to want to clean your blade off because if it gets a build up then it's going to leave it's not going to be a smooth transfer to your nail. I'm going to show you this is the M19 plate and the image holder so you would just lay it out like this I'm not going to actually do my nail but I'm going to show you exactly what I did just because it took me forever to get this nice and neat. Okay, so you're going to use your base coat, whatever base coat you use, and you're going to use your base color. Paint your nails, let it dry. Then, if you were not going to put like a glitter or anything, I would say go ahead and put your top coat on before you do the conad, and then put another top coat on. Um, Kiz101, um, who is on YouTube, does some great um, Conad videos as well as some other makeup things. And she mentioned in one of hers that if you put the top coat on your base, on your color, before you do the Conad, if you make a mistake, it's really easy to get off. And I found this very true last night. I could actually took a little bit of nail polish remover and went over it, and it didn't mess up my glitter or my base coat. So I would highly recommend to do that. If you mess up, you can take it off really fast and redo it. Then um, I put the glitter on, and then a top coat. And I let that dry completely. Then I got my nail polish. Okay, I'm going to make sure it's in there really well. Okay, and you're just going to put the nail polish over the image. You can see that. Okay, and then you're going to scrape it to the side. All the way over. I should have done that the other way. But anyway, so then you get your stamp and you roll it and you pick up your design and you can see the French tip design right there. Real nice. And I think with the Conad polish, this dries pretty fast and I'm going slow because A, I'm not going to do it for real and um, I think regular polish does not do it as fast. But then you would just hold it to the side and then you're going to roll all the way over to the other side and then pick it up. And I found another thing with the regular polish is that it almost leaves, it almost, it likes it picks up. It doesn't stick really well to the nail. Then after you do that, you're gonna not have this on here. It's gonna be halfway there. So what I would do is I run my stamper over the cotton swab with the nail polish remover just once or you're going to pick up lint and that way it's clean for the next one because if you don't clean it and all of the image is not off and you do it you do it again you're going to have remnants of your last stamp and it's not going to be clean then you take another cotton ball or cotton swab with nail polish remover and you just go over the plate and clean it off like this and then you do the same with your so you already got some there. You do the same with your scraper. You just wipe it. And what I did is I left it over to the side and I would scrape and do that immediately, really quickly. Take some time because when you're laying it out on your nail, if you don't do it just right, it's going to be down here, some's going to be up there. So it's something you have to practice with a lot. And because I didn't use a Conad Special Polish and I used something different, it wasn't as opaque. So it was. It looked very nice, but it wasn't dark enough, and the more I went over it, if I kept stamping, it just got messier. So since the line was already there and I could pretty much just go over it, that's what I did. I took the brush and I just went over it one time to make it really nice and dark. But it turned out really good, really well. And that's what I, um, that's what I did to do this design. Now I'm going to try some whites this week to see how they stamp and how other colors look um, stamped on it. So, but as far as using that to stamp, I'm going to try that out to see if I would recommend getting the Conad Special Polish in white. But I would definitely at this point say you should get it in the black. That's it for today. And if I didn't cover anything or if you have any other questions, just let me know and I'll try to cover them. Have a good day. Bye.